Okay, here's question five. There's a company that produces batteries, and if the batteries are either too big or too small, they get chucked out. And that's pretty much the, the question. My hint then is just that you're going to need the Z tables for this, which are on page 36 and 37 of the Formula and Tables book. Uh, secondly, the batteries get thrown out if they're smaller than 19.75 millimeters or greater than 20.25 millimeters which uh, is plus, plus or minus 0.25 millimeters away from the mean 20 millimeters so that's plus or minus 2.5 sigma or 2.5 times the standard deviation which is 0.1 millimeter. I'm going to work out then what percentage of them are accepted rather than rejected first of all so anything between minus 2.5 standard deviations and plus 2.5 standard deviations is going to be accepted. I'm going to rewrite that as anything less than 2.5 standard deviations away from the mean which on this diagram here is everything below this point here. This is 2.5 standard deviations. I'm going to take away anything that's more than 2.5 standard deviations too small. So anything below this line here uh, that I've colored in in black here. Anything smaller than that is also going to be thrown away. So in total what I'm just going to get is everything in between those two um, standard deviation marks that I have. I can leave this part here as it is the where Z is less than 2.5 standard deviations from the mean. I'm going to rewrite this part here though where Z is greater than minus 2.5 because that's not going to appear in your Z tables. I'm going to rewrite that as 1 minus everything Z is less than or equal to 2.5. So what's going to happen here is I'm take rather than finding out what this bit is here, I'm finding pretty much what this part is and that's going to be equal to this part. Now I can replace those two uh, just reading from my Z tables. I don't know how well you can read this but this here is the number for Z is less than 2.50 which is what I have and that number is 0 0.9938 so instead of writing this I write 0 0.9938 I've got a minus 1 and I've got a plus 0 0.9938 so remember this is Z is less than 2.5 as well so it's equal to the same thing as this so I just follow through on the maths there and I get 0 0.9876 but that's the percentage of batteries that are accepted. To find the number that are rejected then, I take 10,000, which is the total number that are produced, and I take away the number that are accepted. So that's 10,000 multiplied by the 0.9876, and that gets me 124. That is how many batteries are rejected on average. Part B then, uh, setting on the machine slips. So now the mean is higher. Uh, the standard deviation is the same as it was before and the cutoff points for acceptable batteries hasn't changed either so they still need to be uh, wider than 19.75 millimeter and uh, thinner than 20.25 millimeters this was the situation that we had before where our mean was 20 millimeters uh, 20.25 millimeters was over here 2.5 standard deviations away and the 19.75 was 2.5 standard deviations away in the other direction at uh, this time though we have a slightly different scenario now our mean is 20.05 uh, now 20.25 is only two standard deviations away remember the standard deviation is 0.1 millimeter so two standard deviations away is 0.2 millimeters. In the other direction, they still can't be any uh, thinner than 19.75. In this case, that's three standard deviations away from the mean. So, a very slightly different scenario, and it's going to change the number that are rejected. Like I said, then uh, the 20.25 is this new mean plus two standard deviations, uh, the standard deviation being 0.1 millimeters. The 19.75, the other cutoff point, is 20.05 minus 3 standard deviations. Using that information then, we're looking for the probability that uh, the diameter of the battery is between minus 3 standard deviations from the mean 
and plus two standard deviations from the mean. Uh, so we're looking for where p where the diameter is less than two standard deviations, minus where the diameter is greater than uh, minus three standard deviations from the mean. Uh, do the same thing as last time. It's where the diameter is less than two standard deviations minus one minus where the diameter is less than three standard deviations and that's just a rule you can follow all the time again we can just read these values right out of the formula and tables book page 37 uh, we're looking where z is less than two so that's right here 0 0.9772 remember you find 2.0 and third digit is zero next one is Z is less than 3.00. So there's 3.0, and the column is where the third digit is 0. So that's 0.9987. So that's what I have here the 0.9772 minus 1 plus 0.9987. Add those together, and you'll get 0.9759. Same as last time, then, uh, to find the number that are rejected, you take the 10,000 that are produced, take away how many are accepted, which is the 0.9759 times the 10,000 that are produced, and you end up with 241. Just remember though, the question is asking f to find the percentage increase in the rejection rate. So just finding the number that are rejected isn't enough. It does help though that uh, this number is higher than the one we had before. It's a little clue to tell you that you're going on the right track. That the question asks for a percentage increase, and this number here is higher than the last one, so you've, you're on the right track, probably. To get the percentage increase, then, we take this number 241 that we just got, take away 124, which is how many were rejected in the first part of the question, divide that by 124, multiply by 100, and you get this 94.35% increase in the rejection rate.